This video is a special video for the celebration of the 70th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. After the Opium War, colonialism has started in China. Many Chinese citizens fought back against the idea of imperialism and feudalism. The mass rebellions that occurred include the Taiping Rebellion, more on that later. In 1848, Karl Marx offered the idea of communism. Vladimir Lenin's success in the 1917 October Revolution brought to China the idea of communism. In 1919, mass protests occurred at Tiananmen Square. The protesters were mostly students from universities, and they protested about the unfair terms and conditions signed at the Treaty of Versailles after World War One. In 1920, Li Dazhao and Chen Duxiu and a few others started their quest in building a political party. Then the Soviet Union sent representatives to oh, phew, inspect whether they can build an international East Asian secretariat. They met with the Li and Chen and later in the year they started the Communist Party. <laughs> In 1921, July the 23rd, the Communist Party held their first National Congress. But in 1925, the Nationalist Party's leader, Sun Zhongshan, passed away, and the alliance between the two political parties started to cripple. In 1927, Jiang Zhongzheng ordered the prosecution and killing of all members of the Communist Party. From 1930 on, the Nationalists launched five attempts in cleaning the Communists. But in 1934, a military retreat was undertaken by the communists, known as the Ban Li Changzheng, or also the Long March. After the Xi'an incident, the two parties stopped the fight, and in 1937, they forged an alliance to fight against the Japanese. The nationalists fought the Japs head on while the communists adopted the guerrilla warfare. After 1945, the end of the Sino Japanese War, also known as World War II, the two parties fell out again and they started full on war in 1946. In 1948, the Battle of Liaoshan was won by the communists, and in 1949, the communists had controlled all provinces north of the Yangtze. In April, the communists crossed the river and took over the southern capital, Nanjing. The same year, October the 1st, the chairman of the Chinese Communist Party, Mao Zedong, declared the establishment of the People's Republic of China. 